Welcome back to inserting Excel files into your Google Sites part two. So part one, I showed you how to insert a link from your Google for your Excel document into here. Um, now we're going to do something cooler and more fun. OK, so I have my 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 Excel file. This is on Excel. This is Office 365. So this is Office 365. There's a way to do a similar thing using the built-in Office, but that's going to be a, a different video. Okay, so I want to insert this here. I'm talking kind of fast because I'm going to run out of time. Trust me, I've tried this. Okay, so this is the link part. This is boring, though. I want something more interactive that people can participate in. That way, like when I click, when they click on my site, they have something they can actually do, and it's fun for them, and it keeps people coming back. So. It, in this case, it's just a, a Google site that I'm using for class, so it doesn't matter. But if you actually had a website and you were trying to sell things or you're trying to get people to sign up for stuff, then the more interactive it is and the more they can participate, the more likely they are to come back. So, okay, I want to put my my spreadsheet here, but I want them to be, actually, be able to actually do stuff. So instead of doing a link, this time I'm going to use this embed function. So first I'm going to go over to my Excel. I'm going to go over to File. And again, this is Office 365. I'm going to go down to Share. I'm going to do Embed. Okay. Now i got to make some choices. First off, well, I'm going to let it load so that it works right. Okay, I do want it the entire workbook for this one. Um, if, if for some reason you only just wanted to do a part of it, you can do that. Um, I like the grid lines there. I like the row and column headers there. So I'm going to leave those on. On this one, this is this one. So it's okay if they have a download link on this one. It's, it's up to you. If you don't want them to be able to download, you would uncheck that. But what I do want is this interaction section. I don't need people to be able to sort and filter, but I do want people to be able to type into the cells without actually changing my original file. So this says their changes will not be saved. This is important. So, okay. The other thing I want to do is I want to select the size. So this is kind of, this is what it looks like. And I, I did this the other day and it makes this little bitty tiny box, but I want it to be bigger. So I'm going to change my dimensions. I'm going to put 700 there. I'll put 450 there. This is just because it's just personal choice. You can leave it as a small box if you want. So now we get to the important part, which is this embed code. So this is computer language. Uh, I'm not good with that. I use the little graphical interfaces, but I want to copy this. I don't want to change it at all. So I'm going to click in here. It should automatically select everything, so you can scroll. Everything should be highlighted blue. If it doesn't just click three times, it'll select everything. Control C for copy. I'm going to go over to my website and I'm going to select this embed thing or I can double click and it's the little yellow right here on the left. So I do embed. I'm going to click over to embed code. I do control V for paste. I don't touch anything in here. Like you don't want to touch anything unless you, unless you know how to do this stuff. I don't. So I'm not going to touch anything. I'm not hitting enter. I'm hitting next. Now I'm going to wait for it to load. It's important to let it load because otherwise sometimes it has problems inserting. So wait till it like shows up and then hit insert. We've had some issues with the MacBooks on this. Um, most of us use Chromebooks, but a couple of the students had MacBooks and they were having issues. I'm not sure if it's a Mac thing or we just weren't waiting long enough. I don't know. Okay, so this is my box. I'm going to widen it a little bit. So I can see my spreadsheet. I'm going fast because I have like two minutes left on my time limit. Ooh, I have like one minute left. Okay, I'm going to adjust this so everything shows up. It lags, don't worry. It's not just you. Okay, here we are. We're in editing mode, so we can't click into it right here. But what we can do is we can go up to preview. So if we click on preview, we see what, what people actually see when they click on your website. And in this case, I don't need this link anymore, but okay. So if I scroll down, this is a fun part that I was trying to rush through to show y'all. They can actually click on your website. So this is a, a payment calculator. So let's say I wanted to buy a car for 15,000 at 1.3% interest over six years. It updates everything so they can actually use your website. So in this case, my $15,000 car over six years, my payment on the car itself would be $216.68. So whatever you set up here, they can click in, they can put stuff in, and they can actually get results out of it. This is, this is cool. So if you set up something to calculate something, they can actually put in their 